And welcome back, this is Bob Scuba with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined, as always, by my barbarian. As you can see, I've been doing some uh, auction house stuff with my other character. I just wanted to show you here that when we do make it to the next act, everything changes on this screen. So it does show that we are on the second act. Let's go ahead and get back in there. Everything is moved forward uh, to the new town that we are in here. So I'll briefly go over uh, where all the locations are and all that it kind of stuff. It is good to fight with you again. It is good to be back. All right, let's move on with our Templar in tow. And we have reached a checkpoint. He's still here. I'm not going to be talking to him. Uh, the... Scoundrel is here as well, and we do have a new person waiting for us in town. This is Neck the Brawler. This guy is here now because there has been an update in Diablo 3. Uh, we're now on 1.07 something. Uh, but this is the first checkpoint, well, first update. I see the word checkpoint and I say it. Uh, this is the first update in which there are duels. Uh, so you can go into the training grounds. I'm just going to do it. Punch one for me. No, that's not how I roll. I don't punch. Uh, we're just going to go there real fast. Uh, there's no way you can be here. <laughs> this is the Scorched Chapel. This is where all the duels take place. Uh, in order for you to have a duel, you have to have somebody else here with you. And then you can warp here, and you can kill each other. And actually, you get a little bit of experience when you do that. I am clearly not ready for any sort of... Uh, dueling so I am getting out of here so let's move on hey mister I got some new things you should take a look squirt the peddler very I can't believe what people throw away but very very nice person um oh I still need to take care of some of this didn't I uh well I think all that just needs to be uh salvaged she squirt the peddler sells not only some high level blacksmith plans that obviously we could not afford even in nightmare where I have 500,000 gold now I can't afford this stuff However, she also sells Wurt's Bell um, which costs 100,000 gold this is very very similar to the mushrooms that we picked up earlier and that's all I need to see I have her uh, I have actually been getting a lot of that kind of stuff off screen as well as some stuff that I'm going to put in the auction house so I just keep it there for safekeeping uh, Wurtz Bell you purchase here in town the black mushroom we got well in the let's play and then Learic Shinbone we did not get in the Let's Play, but I did go back and get it. Where you get this is in Leoric's Manor. If you remember, there was a part, there was a room in kind of like the northeast part uh, where there was a fireplace. If there are logs in the fireplace, touch the logs, a shin bone will pop out. It took me about five tries to get that. And then uh, this one we'll encounter sometime uh, in this act. So when we get there, we'll get there. Blacksmith's still here with us. How you doing, Eamon? I will be using him eventually. I do need to get my Templar back, though. You, scoundrel, have you seen my amulet? You don't know. Never. You've never seen it. Oh, no. seriously? Wow. And I've never seen your dagger, either. <laughs> my dagger? Why, it's missing, too! They take away the subtitles if I have them join the party. That's news to me. Leah! How you doing? Here we are. Chaldeum. Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. We will split up. You two find Belial, and I will hunt his servant Magda. Cain will be avenged. And now we do have a new quest, is to go to the Chaldeum Bazaar. So... Uh, I think there's just mer merchants here. Healer is here. Once again, you should have something that just heals you all the time. Call? I don't think I've ever talked to you. Oh, well. You're not important. Uh, this is honestly one of my favorite uh, backgrounds in the game. I love this. 
how you can see like the whole town down there I love that aspect of it and this is one of many such background things that I'll try to point out if I can remember I might get a little too busy though um yeah let's just move on I got plenty of room in my inventory still uh, yeah, sorry about the lag here. I don't know what's going on today, but there's just a little bit of it. Ashira! Do you guys remember Ashira? Yeah, that, that's how far east we are. Ashira was hanging out in Kurast, the last I remember. Guard, where do these refugees come from? Of course he doesn't recognize I am her. not a guard. I am Ashira, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. As it happens, I am hunting Magda. Where do I find her? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. So Ashira is here. Always nice to see Ashira. Uh, she does have the Iron Wolves kind of with her. We can't hire them, obviously. Emperor Hakan threw his entire court out of the city. They're trapped out here with the rest of us. The, the whole There's court. Some in this here's a here's an iron justice. wolf. They don't look the same to me, but what do I know? We need to talk to Leah again. Teriel and I learned that while the iron wolves were fighting Magda in the desert, the Emperor replaced them with Imperial guards who bar all from the inner city. I suspect that the iron wolves were sent out to die. The Lyle has made his move. We must find a way into the city. As a child, I explored Chaldeum while Uncle Deckard studied here. I can get in through the sewers. Good. Learn what you can while I hunt Magda. Be careful. Alcarnas sounds like Magda's trap. I'm sorry, Leah, I didn't hear a word you said. There was a bunny. Uh, this is... Well, the Chaldean Bazaar. Uh, there's not that much here. If I remember, there are, there, there are a couple things that are hidden here. It's me. It's the sewer, sir. That hole goes right into it. Yeah, right there. I'm sure our had so there are a couple things I need to try to find here. The inner city is closed by order of his eminence, Emperor Hakan II. For now, you must all remain here. Let us in. We are dying of hunger and thirst. Can't you smell the stench of death? The Jeez. Emperor has forsaken us. I show up and all these people back. start talking about or the stench of death. Uh, when I looked up how I'm done talking about you guys Templar stuck over there uh, when I looked up how to find and how to get Wurtz Bell I was told that uh, whatever her name was was, was going to hang out here um, I don't know if that's just something that changed over time or if sometimes she's there sometimes she's where I fi found her but I haven't seen her in any other spot uh, always up front. Everybody has well. This gate leads to Alcanus. There are lots of little merchants around the here. Bridge and through the Kasim outpost. Yes. Is he still talking? Jeez. Um, there is something. I know. There's one. There's at least one thing in here. Uh, the refugees. You can talk to them. There it is. Al Hazir's heavy tones. And here we can get an abridged history of Chaldeum. Most uh, commoners know Chaldeum by reputation, if not direct experience. The trade city has existed for thousands of years, predating even the mage clan wars. Its neutral stance throughout the following centuries saved it from the destruction that visited the nearby city of Vizjun, and life, along with trade, carried on. Good to know. That's pretty much all that there is here. Once again, the merchants are here. You can check out what they have. Uh, it's not going to be worth it, though. Uh, as far as I remember, you know, none of them are really worth it. Uh, but everything has moved forward with Magda us. Will pay for her wickedness. And if I remember correctly, we are going to encounter somebody here. We do. Uh, it's the Enchantress. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. No. They will die. I have come to kill them and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. And now we have the Enchantress following us. There are us. illusions out there. Mirages to some. But I can see them for what they are. The Coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. The cultists couldn't kill me before. And they won't now. But I thank you for the warning. 
She looks different than anyone we have seen. Yeah, she's kind of hot. Skin is as soft and smooth as polished ivory, and her eyes, they, you know. Why are you two whispering over there? Dibs. No, no reason. I'm calling Dibs right now. Dibs. Step on the scorpion. Ah, look at him splash. Squish. Ah. Oh, these guys. Uh, you do want to watch out. Um, those little. What the hell? Am I liking this much? What the? Hell? I would rather not discuss the sand wasp. These overgrown insects wouldn't be notable whatsoever if not for their exceptionally poisonous stings, which, alas, killed my young apprentice. I thought he would be more careful when I sent him to retrieve a sample from the hive, but <laughs> his parents did not understand my perspective. More new lore. The lacuni, or panther men as they are sometimes called, have inhabited the desert wastes east of Chaldeum for thousands of years. The large males are the tribe's leaders and protectors, while the agile females are expert hunters. Mostly they are primitive and reclusive creatures, although they will attack if cornered or hungry. Okay, so those are the two things that we are fighting here. Uh, you do want to be careful with the flying enemies, not the Lacunis, Lacunis, whatever. Need more time. Yeah, there is definitely some lag going on here, so I'll reach the next checkpoint and then I'll see what I can do about getting rid of that. Uh, you have to be careful with these flying enemies. Those things hurt like hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think a couple of them hit me. I will take that two-handed club. Not good for me, but good for somebody else. Uh, these things hurt. Like, how much do they hurt? 31, 34, that's ridiculous compared to anything else that we really encounter here. So you want to look out for those if you can, of course. With my build, I kind of need to get up on them. What the hell is that? Uh, so, there's not much that I can do to avoid that at times. These guys love to jump off the cliffs. They are very near to us. No one is here. The way is blocked. You should never have come. Demons were faced to your bones. I've missed killing these cultists. Oh, come on, then. There's the checkpoint. Um... I need to talk to her again, though. How did you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. Arena. I am grateful for your aid. What really brings you to these lands? Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. And here we have reached a new checkpoint. And so... No, we're just gonna... Damn it. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna warp back to town, and I'll meet you... Uh, when I figure out what the hell's causing this lag, it's got to be an internet thing. Maybe Steam's downloading something. I'll be right back. Okay, I have solved the problem, and while I was here, I went ahead and took care of everything that I needed to take care of when it came to the blacksmith. We're still looking for an amulet. I just realized that. I did get a new helmet. I'm very excited about this helmet. 54 armor, 10 strength, plus experience. The Globes and potion I don't really care about. Plus, it has an empty socket. That is what we will be using uh, the jewels for. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm probably going to put a ruby in there. Should we ever get a ruby? Um, and we'll go over why that is later. And I also got new shoulders, plus vitality, uh, plus extra gold from monsters. That's pretty much it. And I'm holding on to a two-handed sword and a ring for now. Um, the rings, well, you want to hand these over to your followers from time to time. I'm just going to hold on to it for now, though. Let's head into the Suntered Canyon. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, there went all the lag. So Captain, the from behind! Protect no. the people! Iron Wolf! <laughs> ah, so easy. So easy. How you doing, Iron Wolf? If not for you... The Lacuni would have eaten well this day. Are there more Lacuni on the road to Alcarnas? Even worse. Cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. 
and she's going to be sticking with us for this apparently. So the Iron Wolves, I'm a little confused about their story, I guess I could say. Uh, because they were in the jungle. They were definitely in the jungle. They look different. That's acceptable. I think it's an upgrade anyway. Uh, but... How'd they get to the desert? I mean... I guess I, I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to where Kurost was in comparison to Chaldeum, but I mean, it was definitely the jungle. You know what I mean? Yeah, plus experience. I could always Even in the experience. shade, this desert shows us no mercy. Uh, oh, that's not a guy that I can loot. Here's a kind of side path up. I don't like taking that path, though. We're going to go around, make sure we get all the loot. I don't think there are any dungeons in this part. Once again, having just recently played it helps me remember stuff a little bit better and a little bit easier. Step on the snake. Ah, you have to. They're there just for that purpose. What else are they there for? Is that a millipede? I don't know. It's hard to tell when it's squished. Could be a centipede. One of those is carnivorous. It's weird. It's like the millipede is. No, the centipede? I forget. Whatever, we're moving on up here. To there the is Halloween another plateau. illusion here. The cultists try to hide their footsteps. Their spells are weak and easily countered. If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the rituals. Thank I you. will seek out any other traces of their magic. You sure got a lot to say, Enchantress. The Dune Thresher is an elusive being with a tremendous capacity for bloodshed. It lurks beneath the sands, rising up to see... This is one of the cultist's lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. Let's try this again. The Dune Thresher is an elusive being with a tremendous capacity for bloodshed. It lurks beneath the sands rising up to seize prey in its jaws and rend the body until it is but sinew and gore. I... I once saw a thresher in the flesh and it rather disagreed with my constitution. So, by trying to just randomly explore the map, we have found one of their entrances to their rituals, which is the secret altar. And I'll just try to ignore the fact that there are more sand sharks here. Destroy the vases, and the torture barrels, and the pain mongers. These guys are back. Of course, we are still taking on the cultists, so that is understandable. Um, vases, nothing else, and my magic mind went away. I wasted it because I had to re-listen to it. Let's the disrupt the ritual. Disrupted. Don't I have to kill one guy, really? Good to know. Wait, what is this? should remove part of the illusion. Ah. I can do that every 10 seconds. I should be doing that more often. Seven Lords of Hell. There's seven of them? It is with some reluctance that I write on the Seven Lords of Hell. For they are the greatest of the demons. And even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. They are divided into the lesser evils. Belial, Asmodan, Juriel, and Andaril. And the prime evils. Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. So, we have two sets of evils, I guess you could say. Lesser evils and prime evils. Now, in Diablo 2, it went uh, in Dariel Act 1, Dariel Act 2, Act 3 was Mephisto, Act 4 was Diablo, and the expansion was Baal. So, all that we have left are Belial and Asmodan, it looks like, and then we have defeated all seven lords of hell? I mean, we, uh, surely we've got a couple, more than two acts to go, right? I think I've already spoiled that there's four acts, so... Even if we took out Belial and Asmodan, who's left? Huh. All right. I can have bless you. You can talk to these guys. Thank I don't you. know if it actually does anything. I'd lost all hope. And then they run out, so, you know, I think it's important, but it's probably not important at all. Let's go ahead and get out of the secret altar, and we can find the hidden conclave. Look. Um, more hidden footprints. Those were already... Oh. She's making new ones. I was about to say these are already here. Uh, you can try to follow this if you want. Um, at the end, she'll always kind of have them go around and around. But um, you don't need to follow those at all. Oh, hidden cache there. So I'm not going to. And I'm just going to fully explore this place. Because if I remember correctly, there are uh, bonus missions here. And I would like to go into those bonus dungeons. Because they usually have better equipment. 
than the regular stuff. And here we have encountered the fallen in a tornado. Don't don't step in the tornado. It seems that the fallen are indeed creatures of demonic origin. The old Haradric tale claims they were once powerful servants of the mythical Asmodan. They purportedly aided him in his battle against the prime evils, and Diablo later punished them by twisting them into the small, stupid forms they now possess. Oh, they're not that small and stupid anymore. I must admit, I love the upgraded look to the Fallen. Uh, we only encountered the, the regular Fallen there. We will encounter um, some of the, uh, the, the higher level stuff later on. I guess you could say champions. Look, look how much the Templar is doing. I mean, these guys are very powerful, the Sand Blossoms. I'm never exactly sure why that is, but seriously, don't get hit by them. It hurts like hell. You can easily die if you're not paying attention uh, to, to where those little baby things are coming out. Uh, it is actually their, their babies.